The influence of Chinese in Thailand permeates the entire society and culture of the country. Just outside Bangkok's Grand Palace area is a road and area known as Yawarat, the booming Chinatown of Bangkok. What was once a poor area of Bangkok dominated by Chinese communities that immigrated to Thailand in search of laborious jobs, slowly but surely transformed into a trading and commercial hub of the city. Today, it's one of the most valuable business districts in all of Bangkok. Bustling markets, gold stores, lottery ticket vendors, and restaurants ranging from luxurious seafood dining to well-known street food stalls form the core of Yawarat. It's a district in Bangkok where there's never a dull moment, an area where every visit is an arousing overdose of all senses. Daytime in Yawarat is a jumble of markets, while the evening and night brings a wave of legendary street food hawkers that serve some of Bangkok's most well-known eats. Gwai Chap Nam Sai is one of the specialty dishes specifically famous in Yawarat. The dish is composed of rice noodle rolls blanched in hot water before being combined with a few handfuls of the intricate, flavorful bits of the pig. Intestines, lungs, heart, and liver are all represented. The mix is then drowned in an enticingly porky broth that's intensely flavored with black pepper. So the first dish I'm eating in Yawara today is called Kwai Chap. And these are like rice noodle rolls. And it's in a soup made from all things pig. We got crispy, crispy pork belly. We got some, I think this is some liver. I'm sure there's some heart and there's some intestine, intestines in here. But this is all things pig, Kwai Chap. So porky and it's really nicely flavored with black. It's really nicely flavored with black pepper. That's delicious. But I'm actually going to add a little more chili and of course some some vinegar to make it a little bit sour. Yeah. And I'm going to dig in. This stuff is this stuff is delicious. So first with the round noodles. <laughs> Mm. And now let's try a, how about a piece of lung? Oh, I'm not even sure what this is. Liver or, I don't know. A little bit chewy, but that has great flavor too. That bowl of goodness costs 50 baht. A range of seafood is another popular dinner option in Yawarat. Many restaurants begin to serve at around 5 p.m. and stay open into the wee hours of the night. TNK Seafood, with its prime location on Yawarat Road, is a restaurant that sees its share of customers, both tourists and locals alike. The food is not the best I've had in Bangkok, but the action and energetic atmosphere is wonderful. Night at TNK Seafood Restaurant in Yawarat, and I've ordered a few different dishes, starting off with stir-fried melon leaves. That's one of my favorite vegetables, definitely. Nice and stringy. And bursting with flavor. We've also ordered something called Pike Thang, which are blood cockles in English. Oh, there's the red liquid. But anyway, grab that, that shellfish. Dip it into the sauce. Taste is good, taste is good. The main dish of the evening is Blakapung Nung Manao, Asian sea bass or barramundi fish. And it's steamed in straight up lime juice and then covered in chilies and garlic. So grab a big piece of fish. Make sure you get some of the garlic and some of the chilies to go with it.
One of my favorite Thai desserts is Boloi Nam King, sesame butter filled dumplings swimming in sweetened ginger water. For myself, a food tour to Yawarat would be incomplete without indulging in this after dinner treat. It's time for dessert in Yawarat on the street side, and I ordered something called Boloi Nam King, and it's strong ginger, sweet ginger water. Absolutely soothing. It slightly burns your throat, so if you have a sore throat, Namking ginger water is excellent. And the balls are like mochi rice, and inside of the balls is black sesame pudding. Grab a little bit of grab a grab a dumpling with with the ginger water. This is one of my favorite desserts in Thailand. It has like sesame peanut butter wrapped in a gooey little dough. That's delicious. The action in Yawarat never slows down. Before the late night street food vendors finish their shifts, the early morning market hustlers are already out preparing for business the next day. It's the never-ending cycle of traffic, markets, businesses, and food that churns Yawarat and makes it one of the most captivating areas of the city.